Well, operational risk reporting for management is a challenging area because op risk tends to generate a lot of stuff in terms of data points for self-assessments, KRIs, and loss data, and so forth. So it's important to try to call out what's really important for senior management and the board. The common items we see these days are really trying to hone in on what's really, really important. So there may be a top 10 or even a top five key list of risk issues. What keeps us up at night that we want to tell the board about and the senior management committee. Also, we often see summaries of CSA data, which might take the form, for example, of heat maps, overlaying you know, the green, red, yellow kind of analysis over particular business lines and identifying what areas may have some certain key risk issues within them. Many, in many cases, the CSA data and the KRI data also yield a lot of information. So many firms are moving toward trying to streamline that information and pull out really what are the high risk issues that have the most impact and are interrelated to all the operas tools among the KRIs, the loss data, and the CSAs and so forth. So MIS is very important. How much are you going to generate? Who you're going to give it to and when? How much I think the firms are clearly moving toward executive summaries of information like we talked about, top five lift, top five lists, top ten lists. But who does it go to and how often? Often we see board presentations perhaps of once a year, although that can vary too if the operas framework is changing. Senior management committees, like an operas committee, often receive information quarterly, uh, for example. But in some firms too, monthly may even be a more accurate picture of how much information is going up top. I think as we move too toward more continuous monitoring and IT platforms, we're going to see information being presented on a more consistent basis over time, but perhaps streamlined to really get that important information up to the top.